Russo'sBrand.com, where the pros are the pros. I don't know if you caught the aerial CM Punk interview. Yeah, yeah. I didn't yeah. catch it. Is it worth watching? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But it, it, it's nothing we didn't already know, but it's nice to have somebody inside confirm everything we've been saying. Yeah, just I saw the one quote, like, this is not a real business. Yeah. I quit. And, you know, Punk's a feisty fella quite a bit. But then at the same time, he spent so long in the WWE that he understood what it takes to be a condu- conductive business. And though he had plenty of disagreements, probably with Vince in the creative aspect, I think at the end of the day, Punk, who is like really the guiding light of a smart mark embedded in real life, knew the wrestling business and what the will to win takes. And that is an increase and steady business going forward. Right. Yeah. 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 Well, bro, he just tells the story of, uh, you know, he, he lays out the, uh, the, the Jack Perry and the story with him and whatever, and, you know, him going to Tony and him saying, brother, you need to handle this because you don't want me to handle this. You're not going to like the way I handle this. So, you know, he did the right thing. And, bro, Tony looked at him and it's like, and literally the boss literally said to one of the boys, what do you, what, what do you want me to do? I don't know what to do. And Punk said to Tony, bro, I'm not going to tell you what to do. This is your company. So then, of course, bro, Tony did nothing. And Punk had to handle it his own way. So he just really paints a clear picture, bro, of you you got a guy, man, who just has no idea how to be the boss and how to make a decision uh, and how how to be the be all end all. Um, And I, I think we all knew that from the start. Yeah. And then again, you almost you feel not bad, but some empathy for people that have grown up disconnected. So if you grow up entitled, rich, maybe hidden from humanity and society in the majority, you're going to not have these personal skill sets where maybe some of his outlandish, outlandish, <laughs> look who's talking, some of his behaviors that we kind of like are critical of, rightfully so, he doesn't know, he's never been in a co- conflict he's never been on the schoolyard maybe getting pushed around or had to push somebody around he's never had to fight for himself you know he never there's a difference between respectfully confronting somebody there's a difference between trolling and i don't think that is he's aware of these things bro if 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 his winning is acceptance you know, of the marks, you know, of, of, of the, you know, those that work for him, you know, he wants to be loved. Will there ever be an ability for him to shift that focus on the real winning, which is AEW, which is his company, which is getting, you know, getting back in the game, increasing numbers, um, you know, improving the product. Does he have the ability to make that shift, bro? Or will it always be, man, they accept me, they love me. In his mind, that's the W. Can he can he shift that over to actually seeing results? It seems that each and every time he doubles down on the ladder, like he doubles down on smart mark acceptance or, I don't know, like, there's this dumb quote. I think I originated it as Derek Bateman doing some stupid video for WWE. I was like, well, if you always do what you always did, you always get what you always got. Mm. And he's still doubling and tripling down on the things he would do. And they are continually showing that decline. And knowing that there's going to be a minority, hardcore, defend at all costs group, he can retreat into that bubble to be find reassurance regardless of what the reality is. So I do think, can that perspective change? I think it's going to take an outside source or what we would call a coming to Jesus moment where if father said, I cannot 
tolerate seeing red on these sheets anymore. Something has to give. I don't know what to do. You need a general manager is what you need. You need a somebody that can be a dickhead. You need a business mind. You need things like this. You need, I mean, I don't know if JR is capable of it, but you need him in town relations. You know, you can't handle all these things. Or you put these smart people in that are vetted, well-sourced, and though you are still in charge, you have all the, you can say yes and you can say no, but you can rest assured that these people have the best interests of the business in mind for what I need to see to keep it going and for what you need to see to succeed and for what you need to see to learn from so that when you grow into this role, you will be able to handle these duties better. Does that make sense? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, you know, bro, I I was looking at it, man. And and now when CM Punk is actually sharing the conversation, bro, you need to handle this. You don't want me to handle it. You're not going to like the way I handle it. Tony is, you know, what, what do I do? I don't know what to do. And Punk is like, bro, I'm not going to tell you, you know, what to do. So Tony's decision was to do nothing. Now, based on Tony's decision to do nothing, bro, look, look what happened. He lost Punk. He lost Perry. Lawsuits, millions of dollars. His sent- life was literally threatened. I saw the video. He said it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he, he uh, Punk comments on that as well. But look, look at just the the domino effect because the guy did not know how to make a decision and what to do i do you think if punk said change his answers it's not my business i can't tell you what to do but this is what i would do do you think tony would be like okay 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 no i cuz i think i think Tony Khan comes across to me as the guy that is trying to avoid conflict at all costs. And, bro, you and I both know if you are trying to avoid conflict, bro, you are in the wrong freaking business because there is conflict and issue every single minute. True. And it's human nature to try to avoid conflicts. Yes. And I'm even responsible and irresponsible doing that sometimes too, where I need it. I know I need to tell this person this shit, but like I want them to figure it out themselves and I'm kind of guiding them, but they're not. And all I have to do is say it and I'll feel better and I'll stop thinking about it regardless of what happens. And I still, it's hard to pull that trigger. Like sometimes I'll call meetings called airing of grievances where like, Listen, we got shit to say. Just say it now, and we'll figure it out. We'll take it from there. If anybody has to leave or walk, it's okay. There's no hard feelings. I did that with the CYN guys, and they, I thought it would open up lines of communication between who I was working with on that, and instead, they, they, they just doubled, tripled down on themselves. So I'm like, well, this is – I can't do this anymore. Yeah, bro, but I know you, and we're all like that, bro. That's human nature, bro. Nobody wants to deal with conflict. We're, we, nobody welcomes it. We're all like that. But, bro, at the end of the day, when you know you have to deal with something, you freaking deal with it, man. It may, it may take you a while, bro, and you may put it off, but I know you, bro. When when you when it comes to the point of you have to deal with it, you deal with it 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 doesn't seem to me with tony that he ever gets to that point and and he just kind of sticks his head in the sand yeah i'd probably be married now if i was able to if i learned that earlier there you go what's up brand this is jeff lane inviting you to come hang out with me over on twitch i'm live several nights a week playing games classic and new currently going through final fantasy 7 rebirth the new contra game and more so check me out Jeff Lane 22 on Twitch. Mike Durban was on here and he was talking about the Conan Major Bendy's action figure. This you got one too, don't you, Vince? Yeah. The, the, these are high quality, like the high quality packaging, high quality art, high quality figure. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah but Durban wasn't kidding, guys. These, these are real high quality. So uh, you can even get these autographed. MikeDurban.com. Check them out before they're gone. 